Good day everyone! We are now going to discuss about three stages of representation by Jerome Bruner. There are three stages of representation. Number one, inactive, representation of knowledge through actions. Number two, iconic, it is the visual summarization of images. Number three, symbolic representation, use of words and other symbols to describe experiences. An active stage. This stage involves the encoding and storage of information. There is a direct manipulation of things without any internal representation of the objects. For example, a baby shakes a rattle and hears a noise. The baby has directly manipulated the rattle and the outcome was pleasurable sound. In the future, the baby may shake his hand even if there is no rattle, expecting his hand to produce the rattling sounds. The baby does not have an internal representation of the rattle and therefore does not understand that it needs the rattle in order to produce the sound. Iconic Stage the iconic stage appears from 1 to 6 years old. In this stage, it involves an internal representation of external objects, visually in the form of a mental image or icon. For example, a child drawing an image of a tree or thinking of an image of a tree would be representative of this stage. Next is Symbolic Stage. The symbolic stage from 7 years and up is when information is stored in the form of a code or symbol such as language. Each symbol has a fixed relation to something it represents. For example, the word cat is a symbolic representation of a single class of animal. Symbols, unlike mental images or Memorized actions can be classified and organized. In this stage, most information is kept as words, mathematical symbols, or in other symbol systems. Bruner believed that all learning occurs through the stages we just discussed. He also believed that learning should begin with direct manipulation of objects. For example, in math education, he encouraged the use of algebra tiles, coins, and other items that could be manipulated. Now here are the references from study.com and Simply Psychology. And here are the photo references. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Subscribe for more content on this channel.